Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're building a DIY storage shelf for the Becquerel JK. Now this is very simple, straightforward. All the materials we're using today probably cost less than $50 from Bunnings. Some things are recycled from work um, and can be easily done at home within maybe an hour or so. We'll time it and see how long it takes. But at the moment we're dealing with this space here. Now it's a good, good amount of space for a Jeep to be fair. Coming from a TJ to a JK, heaps of space. But everything just lays flat and you've got to kind of stack on top of it. So I really want something I can slide my table under, camping chair, stuff like that. That way I've got a completely free area to uh, store bigger items, be able to tie them down, make sure they're nice and secure. Um, and I also want to be able to um, secure my fire extinguishers somewhere safe. I do see a lot of people attaching them to the roll bars, but I think in a car accident it might be just become like another missile and um, become really dangerous for the passengers inside the car. So I'll be storing my fire extinguisher actually underneath the um, storage platform and probably attaching it to these um, planks of wood that I recycled from work. Now the wood we'll be using today is for the top base here I got from Bunnings. It is 9mm thick by 1200 long by 900mm. Um, and as I said, these are recycled from work. I've already cut them down. And what I've done is actually made a little notch in the end. So as you can see, the seat isn't completely flat. It actually arches up a little bit. So that way these back sections will slide directly underneath the seat like so. So it actually wedges in there nice and tight. Now the carpet we'll be using today is marine grade carpet I bought from Bunnings uh, for $38 for 4 meters. So we've got heaps, um, definitely going to suffice for the amount we need and other projects we might do in the future. Really cheap, um, really simple, um, and this way it's going to look custom but also very factory at the same time. Now you don't actually have to make it the same as I'm doing today, you can make it any way you want. I'm just using two legs, you can use three, make it a bit stronger, make a few sliders in there, maybe a fridge stand, uh, stuff like that. You can kind of custom make it how you want, and it's really cheap and easy. Now this is, um, as I said before, all this is all this all up was just under fifty dollars and maybe an hour's worth of work where you can pay like up to a thousand bucks, five hundred uh, for a set of drawers from a built company. So the first thing we're going to do is measure out the space we've got. Um, we've already cut these down to what we need. Uh, one of these is going to sit just behind the door hinge there and wedge tightly in the back seat. Um, now we'll be lining these with the carpet as well so it's going to blend in really nice. Um, so we'll get to measuring, uh, make a few measurements on our MDF board, cut that down to size, um, do a few test fits. Um, I'll probably have to curve to these edges here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, contour to those lines, I think that'll just make it look a little bit more factory but also off the market at the same time if you know what I mean. So let's make those measurements, um, I'll tell you the measurements as we go if you guys want to build your own one. Also leave all the um, details in the description below as well, that way you guys can Copy my measurements or make, also make it custom to what you want. Alright, let's get started. Do some measurements, do some cutting and see how it fits. So I'm measuring to the widest point and that way we can cut it down um, around those little arches there make it nice and flush, make it nice and tight as well. Don't want to really do loose fitment, I want it nice and tight sitting in there.
Alright, so the first look at the table. I cut this side absolutely perfect and bores up this side. Um, for some reason they're different on both sides, obviously because that one's probably got the hinge on it. Um, and that one's slightly not as big, um, I should say, so I kind of just cut that one at the wrong size, uh, which isn't too bad. It'll still look alright. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do as well is to cut the little strap holes for the baby seat on both sides, which won't be too hard. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. Nice and flush on all corners, nice and tight into all the sides, which I really like. That's what I wanted. I really wanted something that would sit nice and tight in there. There's no gapping on the sides. Um, what you get with the Jeep ones, they kind of have like these weird contours um, in the floor so things don't really sit flush. Um, but that's more than enough room to slide my table, camping chairs and stuff. It's not very high. You can do one that's kind of look a lot higher. Um, but it sits nice and flush on all corners, which I love. Just a bit this one, I pause that one up a little bit. We might be able to taper that edge off so it doesn't look so sharp. Um, where that one looks nice and smooth. So what we'll do is we'll pull that out. Cut the little tabs for the seat belt um, and stuff like that. Um, then we can measure it out for the carpet. Start cutting the carpet, screw that down, um, and then we can see the finished product. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think so far, uh, what you guys have done in your Jeep if you haven't done something like this, something different, or you've gone drawers, whatever it might be, let me know down in the comments below. Um, sweet, let's finish this thing off. So what I've done to mark out the carpet, all I've got is my timber I'm using is my uh, footing um, and left that gap there. So I've got a nice flat edge to cut across. And at the top, I put it on its side so it's a bigger edge so I actually fold further down when I go and staple it down. Um, and that way I've got enough room to fold it over, staple it down, I'm not leaving myself short. So let's go ahead, let's get this all stapled down. Alright, so that's all done. It is super tight in there. Um, obviously the carpet's going to add a little bit extra to the thickness of the board. Um, so it's super tight on all the corners, which is good. Um, I do need to go back through um, with maybe like a staple gun or something and actually staple um, a couple of the loose sides down. But I left a little bit extra um, on this leading edge um, to make sure it's nice and tight. Uh, but there's a few areas there. I should get a staple gun. I should bought one when I was at Bunnings. Um, actually staple all that down. Um, that way it'll be nice and tight. But as it sits now, it's nice and good. And it looks heaps better. And then that way we can get our table, our camping table, stuff like that. Slides under. Uh, we've still got room on the other side and above the camping table as well for extra storage. That way we can put all the other camping gear, stuff like that, on top, whatever it might be. We've still got heaps of room. But it turned out pretty good. Um, as I said, this is super tight, so maybe leave um, a little bit of extra gap. Maybe take um, a mil, two mil off just because of the thickness of the carpet. Uh, but other than that, really happy. Um, so I'm just going to screw these top boards down to the legs of it, um, and then we can 
put it on our fire extinguisher bracket um, and see how everything looks. But still got heat room underneath and on top. Just adds a lot more storage to the actual cargo space of the Jeep. Alright, so that's pretty much it for today guys. I think it turned out awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, there's a few things I need to do different though. Um, I use like little tech screws to hold down the carpet. Uh, I'll probably end up pulling that back out um, and gluing it down then also using staples just to make a little bit of a nicer finish. Um, you can see in some areas that it's bulging up just a little bit. Uh, that's because I haven't stapled it down properly. Um, I've just used screws to attach it to the bottom sections. Um, and it's a little bit rough in a couple of these corners and that's uh, what using staples will help uh, we'll get a nice cleaner finish but really happy with the way it's turned out I love that it's just like one solid uh, piece it's nice and square now rather than the factory JK floor where it's got like a few different bumps and it's not very flat um, and then I've got this whole bottom section now that I can use for storage either put our hats, camping tables a recovery gear, fire extinguisher. Um, I love how it's nice and safe. Um, I didn't like how the fire extinguisher was kind of just bouncing around the back um, to become another object um, in a car accident that might hurt someone. Um, now it's all tucked underneath um, here, out of the way, safe. Um, and one of the things I really like about this as well is that I've still got full access to the little um, cubby hole underneath there, um, it's a little bit tight, I could probably get another hinge for it um, and cut that centre part out, but it's really what you want to do and what your pre preference is. Um, I love that I can just still access that if I want to, um, I've still got access to there, if I want to store stuff in there as well, it's all locked away um, and neat. Another thing about it as well, if I've got the top off at any stage, uh, I've got security, I can leave stuff under there wallets, phones and people can't actually get in there at all which is awesome I think that's a great bonus uh, for jeeps and, ha and having like a false floor or just a storage shelf in there uh, you can store stuff underneath, you've got added storage it's really just great to have, um, it doesn't sit that high so it's, you're not losing space up high not that I've ever been worried about being too high um, but it's you can build it exactly how you want, you can add like another centre part to make it a bit more structurally sound if you want, if you're going around a fridge or anything like that. Um, anything I've done different in the past might get a thicker bit of um, MDF, uh, this is a 9mm, um, I think it might be a little bit flimsy, um, I'll check it over time and check how much weight I'm actually holding on that, it should be alright, it shouldn't bow too much, uh, but if I need to I can either run just a sniff, stiffener through the centre of it make it a little bit more rigid, um, but I love how it just sits perfectly flat to the back of the seats um, and hard to all the sides as well, I think that looks really good it's not really any um, gaps in there and the carpet really filled in those little holes that I stuffed up and the texture of that carpet as well is really similar to the actual texture of the factory carpet as well and it's not too much of a difference in colour um, and even on that side of the carpet it's really filled in those gaps um, that I thought I stuffed up all in all I think it looks really good let me know what you guys think, it's really cheap and easy so under 50 bucks all up um, for the entire build of this thing uh, plus those recycled things from work you can make cheap and easy as you want um, all up 50 bucks isn't too bad for a nice little false floor in your Jeep a little bit of extra yeah, added storage um, but I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you guys do like this video and like the little storage shelf, smash that like button. Always smash that subscribe button as well. We're doing videos once a week, so make sure you guys keep on top of those. We'll be heading to Double Island on Friday, testing that out and testing out our new compressor. That will be in a following video as well. And I'll also get you guys' opinions on where we're going to store that as well. Nice safe spot. 
or we try and leave it loose, whatever, whatever it might be. Uh, but smash that subscribe and keep up with some more videos. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.